Hey loves, it's your girl Pink here and I wanted to do a reveal today. I went to YSL, my first time purchasing something from St. Laurent and I wanted to share with you dolls what I got. Um, I went inside this store to look at a Lulu bag and I didn't know if I wanted the toy or the actual um, larger size Lulu. So I tried both of them on. I really, really like them and I'll insert a picture of the one that I'm going to get right after this um but pretty much i ended up purchasing something small because i really really wanted to just look at the purse not make a decision right away um and the bag that i wanted to purchase was black so i really don't carry black bags at all in the summertime over the years i've kind of noticed that in the summertime um even before i got into luxury handbags i would buy like a green blue yellow um white or brown or any color bag during the summer just to get something light and airy um but i've never dived with black bags carrying black bags in the summertime um so i pretty much wanted to save that purchase for maybe september um since it'll be really cold and by then i will be living in the dmv area so we're going to have a true fall at that time so my toy um or the larger size lulu will be perfect for me then but while i was there um i did want to purchase something that caught my eye i kind of walked past it and i did like a triple take and i came back um and it was perfect because i was going to purchase a chanel item and with this purchase i changed my mind so this is what the sticker looks like that comes on the front of the bag i took it off um in some kind of way i've gotten it stuck on here but they just put everything in a bag and they just stick it down like this for you um when you purchase a smaller item so they stick the little black paper in there and then they also include and it's not super fancy or anything but they include a um a box that has a ribbon on it and it's not super fancy at all um but it is cute clean and i'll show you guys the receipt first then i'll show you what i got and my name is on here so i'm gonna fold it down but this was the total price of the item and i've seen some online but i actually didn't know how to um authenticate them and for me if i'm going to purchase something that is a high dollar item i want to know for sure that it is authentic so i don't really trust items that i'm not sure about so i didn't know how to authenticate it and i have another sticker i have two stickers um, and I think those stickers were on the box. I'm not sure. I can't remember because I did open it when I purchased it. And it has been inside of my Kirigami pouch just chilling. So it has a little dust on it. But this is the little St. Laurent pouch that they give you. And this is what I got. I got an antique brass um, YSL brooch. And I really like this. I really, really, really like this. I wanted a brooch from Chanel. Um and I did not get the brooch from Chanel. This is how I plan on wearing it. Just sticking it on my jacket. Um, and if I have something double-breasted and the collar comes down a little bit, then I would stick it on there. But um, I really like this brooch. And I really like to wear brooches. Um, I have a lot of antique brooches that I've purchased over years when I had my consignment store. So I did collect a lot of vintage brooches. I mean, I sold a lot of them, but I do plan on wearing this because I'm going to be not commuting for work, but just commuting to go into the city of D.C. Um, when I relocate. So when I go out, I do plan on wearing this and I'm going to carry my Carolina Herrera bag. This will be my party or going out for the night bag. And this was also in lieu of a Chanel. So... The Chanel brooch that I was looking at was like maybe $300 more than this one. And the Chanel 
bag that was this size. You guys know the price point, um, a few thousand dollars, whereas this came in at eleven hundred. And I'm going to show you guys. This is beautiful, beautiful silver with the cowskin leather um, intertwined in the chain, just like Chanel does it. And then the interior is so gorgeous. Smells so good. And there is a tweed lining inside of the bag. And this is what the tag looks like. It's red, still attached, even though I got this from Mother's Day. Um, actually, this bag was $9.40. Um, so it was a little over $1,000 with taxes. I can't remember. And um, again, this was a Mother's Day gift. So I'm kind of being a little bit forgetful with prices right now. But just to show you dolls what fits inside of here. Um, I do have a couple of things that I can show you. So I'm going to put my Kira Gummy. This isn't Kira Gummy, sorry. This is my multi cart. So I'm going to put that in here. And I keep my money and my license in there. And then I'm going to also put my key holder, which is also Carolina Herrera, inside of here. And for anyone looking for one of these, these are like um, $130 for Texas. That's a good price point for a key holder and it comes with a chain. So you can clip it inside of the D-ring if you have a D-ring in your bag. Um, and then also, for being on the train as a commuter, I'm definitely going to need my earbuds. So, it's clipped on my bag right now. So I'm just gonna unclip my key holder and put that inside of here. So I'll have keys, money, and earbuds. And those are the only three things that I would really carry in here unless I needed something to put lipstick in. And I I can stick that inside of a little pure thumb medium pouch. And it'll fit snug just like that. So pretty much um now, mind you, I am wearing tights with this outfit I have on, but I do want to show you guys what it looks like. Again, this is regarding the tights, because they clearly do not go with this um, look that I'm trying to show you all. But I have on a cami um, and a, like I said, these are just one of these tights that I'm walking around the house in. But um, a cami, my free people jacket, and my Carolina Herrera bag, um, along with my brooch from YSL. And I think this way you can actually, I like to combine brands because I feel like not every day am I going to carry a Chanel bag, not every day am I going to carry a wise tail bag, or, you know, not every day am I going to carry my Louis Vuitton bag. However, if I have accessories like my Tiffany jewelry, um, my David Yerman bracelet, you know, if I have accessories from all the designers that I like, then I can just combine, I can combine the things that I want to have and be able to still mix and match them up and be the most bang for my buck as far as not having to put every single bag that I purchased on my shoulder and feel like, you know, today should have been a Chanel day or a um, Louis Vuitton day. However, I'm wearing, you know, a Carolina Herrera bag. So that way, I'm able to bring a little bit of every designer that I love with me wherever I go. And I really look forward to moving to an area where I can go out, go and see things and do things and be able to utilize all of my pieces. Everything has been just kind of chilling. Um, like I said, I got this for Mother's Day. It's now the end of July, period one time. And that was when we went to Ohio. So there's not really a lot to do around here. We live near farmland. Um, we live in what used to be an old pecan grove, so it's very rural, and 
I look forward to moving back to the city into a bigger city than even when I was in Atlanta. So, if you guys have questions about either of these items, please feel free to ask. Um, and if you have any concerns, um, as always, I ask you to share those with me. Um, one thing that I did not notice, um, one thing I really noticed was that when I got the YSL brooch, the one that I tried on in the store, the essay didn't close it all the way and it came open but it didn't come off. So that was a concern that I had when purchasing this or any brooch um, was if it was going to open and fall off. But they do have an extra little feature that's added. So it closes and then it clasps. So I really like that. It's kind of like a little lock in place that they put on there. So I feel like that was very helpful. Um, so that I could feel comfortable spending this kind of money on something um, that I cannot guarantee is going to stay on. So with that little extra detail, I went ahead and purchased it. But I do plan on putting this on my trench coat and my overcoat in the um, following winter as well. So I thought this would be a great investment. I don't have any other brooches in my collection that are luxury brooches. And I don't really plan on purchasing a lot. If I can get a Chanel on the re um, sale market from maybe Fashion Foul or the Real Real so that I know it's authentic, I would not mind um, investing in it, especially if it's in this price range. Um, but it would just be the classic C's, not any of the newer enamel styles. But other than that, you dolls, this is everything that I wanted to share with you, loves. Um, for anyone who's looking for Carolina Herrera, you cannot order anything from the website. You do have to contact them, they say. Um, and this bag, I will leave in the description box below, is a perfect alternative to getting a Chanel bag. <coughs> If you dogs notice, it has the little chevron design print. And this actually reminds me of YSL. The leather, the stitching, the chevron. So, yeah. But I love this. Love this. Love this. It's very great quality. Um, I feel like this is going to last me for a lifetime. And I don't have to worry. I can also change this out, too, to wear it a different way. Um, I don't have to worry about any kind of defects with it and I just drank some water <laughs> and so I spilled water on myself just that fast but um I don't have to worry about any kind of defects because this bag does come with a warranty and I know some brands that I'm not familiar with I do kind of I'm a little skeptical when you want buying them like YSL, Givenchy and things like that I'm not familiar with those bags like I am Louis Vuitton at this point so I like to buy the bags that I know if something happens they will <clears throat> repair and replace them the same way Louis Vuitton does. So not everybody has the same guarantee and in-store repair process that they have but some of these um, guys do give you a warranty on your bag. Alright with all that being said dolls, again this is a Carolina Herrera bag and this is a YSL brush. Thanks so much for watching. Peace and